Hmm. I wonder if I should do the little Ned rig thing though. I wonder if hopping it up and down fast will actually get him to eat a little better. I don't know. Here he goes. Oop. Got him. Keep reeling, Augie. Keep reeling. Very nice fish, Augie. I don't even care what happens for us today, do you? I don't even care. It was already an amazing day, right? It's March 24th. I'm here today at this place where they should still be spawning. Around this time, South Texas, they're usually winding down to the end of the spawn right about now. Especially since I know these fish have been spawning since at least January around here. But this is one of the spots last year where they spawned for a long, long period of time. So I expect to find some in here today. Still spawning. This is also the place where I was at a while back and they had these machines up in here tearing up all the grass, all these weeds that they don't want growing in here. This stuff right here. This is the stuff that they don't want growing in here. They had these machines come and tear all that up. So it might have messed up some of the spawn and then actually delayed it till now. This is another thing that may have happened. So anyway, let's take a look around here and see what I can find. Whew, there's some beds around here, but I'm not seeing any bass. Not around here anyway. Oh my god. There is an absolute ton. Oh yeah, a little fry garter right there too. I was about to say, there is a ton of fry right here. I actually do see a little bass underneath of them protecting them. I don't really have a bait on that I can catch them with right now. This is just a Texas rig. I'm just trying to reel it through the middle and see if he'll get mad and come up and smack it real quick. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on him. Like I keep saying, it's just a little fry garter. It's not what I'm looking for, of course. But there is just, I mean, thousands, if not millions of little bass fry right here. They're just everywhere. They are everywhere right there. That is wild. I'm not sure that's just that one fish's fry either. I think this is a bunch of fry that have come together for whatever reason. They are everywhere right here. My goodness. Okay. Well, at least a bunch of them survived over here. We know that. But, like I was saying, that is a whole lot of fry for one bass to be around. I'm pretty darn sure there's supposed to be more than one fish protecting these fry, but they've just all got together in a schooling mode, I guess. They just kind of all got together safety in numbers so all the fry that got spawned around here are just hanging out together because there's no way this is all one fish's spawn they are just absolutely everywhere right here never come quite this far on this side so I didn't even know this was here it's like a little kayak launch or something I guess hmm. got a little fish on the end of it probably garden fry hmm going down to it. This one might actually be on a bed. I don't see any fry right here. 
come around to this side. I can maybe see him a little better and he can't see me so well. Ah, just kind of looking at it from afar right now. Not really wanting to eat it. Right in front of your face. Come on. Twitched on it. Might have to do that. Might have to just hop it right in front of his face and get him to eat it. Oh. Oh yeah, he whipped around big time right there. Oh, I do see Fry though. Golly, I guess maybe he is just guarding Fry. I do see a bunch of Fry moving in from out there now. Wow. This fish might just be guarding Fry, but he'll eat anyway. So that's why he's being so standoffish. So hard to catch. Just guarding Fry. He doesn't really want to go down to the bottom, but I'm kind of forcing him to. Oh, oh, pick up the tail. <laughs> okay, I got him biting now. He picked up the tail and spit it out. All right, fish. I'm going to get you now. Nah, he's not going not gonna to get interested with those little shakes. It's going to have to be a big hop that gets him excited. Goodness, man. Now he's acting even more standoffish. I don't know what's up with this fish right now. Get away, duck. See, he hears the noise a lot of times of the bait coming out of the water and he runs up to investigate. It's really wild. Oop, got him. There we go. Finally stuck him. And he's actually better than I thought too, so I'm glad I stayed around and got this one. Alright, that's a decent fish. He's a lot better than I thought. I thought I was working on just like a little 12 inch bass. That's a decent fish right there. I'm very glad that I stuck around and got him. Like I said, I just made a big hop and he just ran over there and picked it up finally. Ate the whole thing. It's probably a 15, 16 inch fish stocky little sucker too not a bad fish at all i'll take that for sure thank you buddy wow that was fun wow there's a better one right over here right as i stood up come around the corner and there's a better fish cruising around up here cruising around a lot like it might be protecting fry also I don't know this is a pretty good fish though I think it's running around all over the place up here shallow maybe that is just a bed it's protecting I don't know either a bed right there or he's got fry he's definitely wanting to be up here in this spot oh yeah circling around the backside. Oh yeah, there's fry there again. I see him. Big cloud of fry right above him. My goodness, there's a ton of them. This fish's bed is so shallow. Those, those fry have just spawned. His bed is super shallow. So I might be able to get him to eat on the bottom too. Just because my bait is so close to them in proximity. Yeah, he's running around getting mad. He definitely doesn't like my bait there. Oh yeah, going down to it. <laughs> He's looking around. Oh yeah. He's getting irritated that it's there. I think it just got a little bit too close to the bank there. Where he wasn't really concerned anymore, but he'll follow it again out here. I'm sure. I think he might be concerned with eating it. Actually, because it's so shallow, he might be concerned with eating some of his fry along with it. I'm not sure. Like I said, his fry are in such close proximity. Might be worried about eating them. He seems really interested, but he doesn't want to bite. Come on, dude. Run down there and get it. Come on. <laughs> yeah, he's really interested doesn't want to, just doesn't quite want to bite. 
There you go. Run up there and eat it now. <laughs> All right. You know what? I'm actually going to switch to a natural crawdad real quick. Try to catch this fish quicker. I'm not going to quite go to a wacky rig yet. I might end up doing that. I've got the stuff for it, so I might end up doing it. But I'm going to try to just catch them on the bottom, on the bed itself. For whatever reason, I get a little bit more of a kick out of that. <laughs> Watching them come down to the bottom and eating it. Fry are all moving down this way now. Dang it. I think my hook, hook sets actually might be moving his fry around. Well, he's wanting to stay right here still, though. Oh, he grabbed it. Oh, no! Dang it! Ah, I didn't know that he had it. My line just started swimming. But I set the hook and turned him. Dang it. That was fine. It should have been just fine. He still had it when I set the hook and I rolled the fish and everything. What in the world? I don't know why. Okay. Where are you at, fish? Further to the right now. That's where his babies are moving. There you go, fall. Oop. Got him. I'm gonna say he's following it from out there. I felt him eat it. There we go. Again, a better fish than I thought, too. I knew it was a little better than that last one, but golly, it's a lot better than that last one. It's another really nice fish. Golly. There we go. Another one that made me work for it. Garden fry, but still around the bed. The fry are still on top of the bed, so still usually pretty catchable in that moment, but God, that's another really nice one. I say a lot nicer than the other one. Not a lot nicer, but a little bit nicer thick thick fish thank you for playing buddy that was fun decent fish right here coming up against this wall oh yeah garden fry i can see the fry surprised i didn't see the fry first big old cloud of them Another decent fry garter too. Some good males around here it looks like. Jeez. He has got a ton of fry again though. But he's garden. He can't even garden wall. Up here looking at my bait when it's shallow up here. Again, when it gets in close proximity to those fry, they really don't like it. Ah, getting sludge all over my bait too though. You know what, I'm going to go ahead and just keep walking down here real quick. See if I can find any actually on a bed instead of just guarding fry around a bed. See if I can see a bigger fish locked on here real quick. And if I don't, I'm actually going to tie on a wacky rig and go back and try to catch that fish. And I'm not seeing anything over here yet, so I'm going to go ahead and put on a little wacky rig. I think I can get that fish to react on this Texas rig, like the others. But, I think it might take a little while, like the others too. And it's getting darker here, and not finding any locked onto beds that haven't spawned yet like I was hoping for. So it's looking like this is going to be my strategy for the rest of the day to try to just see a couple of more fry garters. Got my little wacky rig wave worm here. Wave worm tiki stick. 
of course in a copper candy color this time of year that is by far my favorite color on these baits there he is right there got a ton of fry that he's guarding though there's a bunch of them right here oh, ran at it a little bit there Oh, oh, gosh, he nipped at it again. Hmm. Wonder if I should maybe put it on a little, little Ned rig, actually, so that he can't eat one end of it like that. But then it'll be hard to keep it up off the bottom in front of his face. I think he's liking this weightless. Where I can keep it higher up near his babies, I think is what he's not liking. Hmm. I wonder if I should do the little Ned rig thing though. I wonder if hopping it up and down fast will actually get him to eat a little better. I don't know. Here he goes. Oh, got him. <laughs> right when I said that, he ran over and ate it, and I got him. Okay. Okay. Wow. Oh, I actually ended up hooking him in the head somehow. Saw him eat my bait. I guess it popped out of his mouth. I hooked him in the side of the face there. So I'm definitely not gonna count that as a snag. I'm gonna catch that as a I'm gonna count that as a catch for sure. I did not purposely snag that fish. Definitely ate my bait before I set the hook, so I'm gonna put him back and leave him alone. Put him back in there to guard his babies. I'm gonna step down here as far as I can before I let him go. Thank you for playing again, buddy. That was fun. <laughs>